Investing in real estate is a great way to build wealth, but taking that first step, it's natural to feel hesitant or even scared. That's why in this video, I'm going to show you some tips on how I was able to overcome my fear of investing in real estate so you can start building your portfolio and start creating wealth. I know what it's like to be completely scared out of your mind to invest in real estate. Now there's something that's out there that's called analysis paralysis and I was stuck in that stage for about six months. If you don't know what analysis paralysis is, it's one of the biggest factors whenever people are wanting to invest in real estate because they get into this mode of they're over analyzing properties, right? They're analyzing 10, 20, 30, 40, even 50 properties before they even pull the trigger. Now I do agree that you have to be analyzing a bunch of different properties in order to get good with running your numbers, but at some point you are running your numbers correctly but you're gonna continue to run your numbers and run your numbers until you completely know what you're doing and now all that's left to do is pull the trigger it took me about six months of being an analysis process before even pulling the trigger and there was some tips that I'm gonna share with you in this video that helped me pull that trigger and start building my portfolio first thing that is very important for you to understand and it was very important for me whenever I was getting my start is feeling scared it's natural and it's totally okay it's completely completely fine to feel scared. I don't care how seasoned you are as a real estate investor, you will always have that fear. It's always going to be there. Now, you might be a little bit less fearful of buying a piece of property because you've done it so many times, but, but that fear is still there. So it's important to not let your fears hold you back to start building your wealth. That's the first thing that you need to understand is it's completely natural to feel scared. It's one thing to feel scared to start investing in real estate because you have no idea what you're doing. You don't know how to run your numbers. So that's one thing that you need to get caught up on or you need to know how to do is run your numbers. I say run your numbers as a broad statement because you need to be knowing the real estate market, the trends, the whatever market you're going to be investing in. You need to know everything about that market, what the rents are, what the average mortgage is, what the average sales price is, etc. Start reading some books, start reading some articles, get in touch with other real estate investors. I'll touch on that in just a sec on how you were able to do that, but learn as much as you can so you can understand more. And in turn, you're going to be more confident whenever you're going to buy a piece of property. This kind of goes back to the analysis process that I experienced. And I want to share with you how exactly you can overcome that yourself. Here's what you're going to do. This is also going to tie in on how to meet other real estate investors. What you're going to do is you're going to go to your local REI meetup. So this is exactly how you do that. You're going to go to meetup.com and you're going to search up REI club, REI meetup, etc. What you're going to do is obviously go to that REI meetup and you're going to be talking to all these different types of investors and you're going to pull some aside and ask them if they can run some numbers with you to help you understand. This is going to help you out tremendously in terms of your confidence whenever pulling a trigger on a piece of property. Because if you and the other person, a more experienced real estate investor, come up with the same numbers, okay, maybe $10, $20 difference, like it doesn't matter, but as long as you come to a very close conclusion on the numbers, you're going to feel extremely confident in purchasing the piece of property or not if the property doesn't make sense anymore. Whenever I did this, this helped my confidence so much on able to pull the trigger on a piece of property. I was still shaking like a leaf whenever I was signing the documents. It was on my phone, so I wasn't actually like hand signaturing it in, but on my phone, I was shaking like a leaf. I remember I was be I was like in the shower, my real estate agent sent me over the contract and I like I heard my phone go off. I picked up my phone, I was shaking, the water wasn't cold at all, but I was shaking like a leaf and I was like, should I click this button or not? And I clicked it and that's how I got my start. But here's another tip for you to help build your confidence and able to pull the trigger on a piece of property. Don't start out going out there looking for 50 unit apartment complexes. Don't start looking for commercial properties. Start small. Even Grant Cardone, the man, the myth, the legend who talks about go big or go home, basically the 10X guy, he talks about how the new real estate investor just starting out the game should start small. There are older videos out there where you can see him saying that you shouldn't start small, but as time went on, he has understood that starting small actually helps a lot of people this will allow you to get a feel for the market and it's also a less risky investment because you have less money put in obviously because if you're buying a 50 million dollar apartment complex you're obviously having to put was that 10 million dollars on opposed to a $500,000 house and you're having to put $100,000. Obviously, there's a lot less risk involved in that. And if you wanna reduce your risk even more, I'm gonna suggest a video at the end of this video, so be sure to stay tuned until the end. You can also hire a real estate agent or a real estate mentor, coach, whatever, to help you through this process. 
This can give you more confidence because you have someone in your back pocket that is experienced and you can go to and ask questions. If you don't want to hire someone, that's totally fine. You can go into my comments and ask your question and I'll be sure to answer any of your questions. Another tip is to create a budget and stick with, I can't tell me how many people that I know will create a budget and they'll obviously go above that budget and they'll either lose money, break even, or make very little money. This includes creating a budget for yourself, finding properties that meet that budget, and working with a mortgage lender to secure financing. Having a plan in place can help you feel more in control and less uncertain about things. If you want a full guide on how to create this budget for yourself, how to create a plan for yourself, there's gonna be a link somewhere up here. It's gonna be like a white little card. Just click on that at the end of this video, and I'll be sure to teach you how to create a plan, how to create a budget for yourself. Another tip is to remember that real estate is a long-term investment. It may take some time for you to see a return on your money because as time goes on, the value of the property is increasing. And if you follow me here on YouTube, you know that I'm all about cash flow because I wanna be able to have cash flow every single month. And then as the years go on, the property is still increasing in value. So it's a win-win for me. So if you have a property that meets your requirements, pull the trigger. Investing in real estate can be a great way to build wealth, but it's totally natural to feel uncertain and scared about taking that first step. Like I said earlier in this video, if you want a way to reduce your risk to almost zero, there's going to be a video popping up on your screen right now. So click on that video. But until the next video, I'm out. See ya.